So you want to sell your home, but you have foundation issues. Um, can you sell it? Do you need to repair it first? Today you're going to find out. Selling a home can be stressful in itself and, and for some people it can be really overwhelming. Um, today we're going to talk about what you can do if you need to sell your home and you have foundation issues. If you're selling a house with foundation issues, it's going to affect the value of the home. Nothing negatively affects the value of a home more than having foundation issues. Um, now if you had foundation issues and they've been fixed, you're not going to need to discount the price of the home. Yes, you can sell a home with foundation issues, but you're going to have to discount um, the price of the home in excess of the price of the work. Uh, typically, people don't want to have the work done themselves. They'd rather buy a house with that work already done. So let's say that your home is worth $500,000 and you have $50,000 of foundation repair that needs to be done. They may want $80,000 taken off the price. If you were to do the work yourself, um, and the $50,000, you're going to get yourself you're, you're going to be able to sell the house for more money. Typically, it's going to be an investor is going to want to buy your house with foundation issues because what's going to happen is he's going to do the work himself and he's going to sell it. He's going to sell it for more money because a lot of people are nervous to take on a house with foundation problems. For a long time, there was no real permanent solution for foundation settlement. Um, so a lot of people have in their mind foundation issues and they automatically don't want to buy the house. Well, today there is a permanent solution with push peers and helical peers for foundation settlement. Um, so the bottom line is if you do the work yourself, you can, you can sell the house for more. A buyer will pay less money with foundation issues. Um, like I said, if, if a house has foundation issues and it has $50,000 worth of, of, of problems to fix, they may want $80,000 or more taken off the price of the house. Selling a home with foundation problems could definitely lead to the house being on the market longer, especially as right now we're kind of going from a seller's market into a buyer's market. I think a lot, of, a lot more houses are going to fall out of escrow because of foundation problems than they did six months ago. So things are really changing and being a buyer's market, a buyer in these market conditions and the market conditions that we're heading into, they're going to want that work being done. More, more houses are and more people are not going to want to take on a house with foundation problems when there's more inventory on the market and they have more options. To fix a home with foundation issues, it can vary widely. Uh, the average cost of our, of our jobs is about 25,000, though we have jobs that are less, but we also have a lot of jobs that are in the 30 to $70,000 range. And some projects are even more than that, so it can vary widely. The repairs for push piers, helical piers, and helical tiebacks, if helical tiebacks are needed, it's a forever fix, it's permanent, and it comes with a lifetime warranty. Because what we're doing is we're going past all of the bad soil that's allowing your home to settle down to competent bedrock or load-bearing strata that's never gonna move. You don't always need to remodel after fixing the foundation. Now, if we're stabilizing only, typically there's not gonna be anything that's gonna need to be done after the project is completed. But if we're lifting the house, um, you could definitely have cracks in the drywall, cracks in the stucco that could be that, that'll need to be addressed after the lift. Typically, it's not a major, it's not going to be a major project, but it is something that you'll want a handyman for to fix those things after we're done. Um, I would say the typical project is probably a week to two weeks. Uh, but it could it could be longer. Um, we have projects that you know last a month. Um, we have projects that are just a few days, so it, it can vary. Um, the best thing to do would be to call and have us come out and do an inspection and give an estimate to let you know um, exactly or just about 
um, how long your project will take. Typically we pull the permits and we do all the work. We schedule to have the engineers come out. You're gonna have to have in most cases soils as well as structural engineering done. Uh, we facilitate all of that once we get the plans. Um, we submit that to the city. We take care of the corrections with the engineer uh, and, and we facilitate all of that for you. Yeah, if the seller wants to pay for the repairs and the house gets sold, we can definitely still do the repairs and work with the buyer to make sure that the house gets, gets repaired. Typically, homeowner's insurance will not cover your project. Um, on some very rare circumstances, um, like if you have a water leak, sometimes they will pay for it. Um, but I've seen cases where, you know, they obviously had a water leak, already had a problem throughout the house and the water leak made uh, a certain area underneath the bathroom in the back of the house much worse and it was a real battle with the insurance company for them to pay it out. So um, in some rare circumstances, yes, they will pay, but overall probably not. A home can be red tagged due to foundation issues, yes. Now that you know what happens in a home that's for sale that has foundation issues, you can reach out to your project design specialist. They can answer any questions that you have and walk you through the necessary repairs. Thank you for watching this video and remember, never settle on an unsafe home.